Good morning, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 11 a.m. Eastern on Saturday, September 17th. Uh, for an update here on Tropical Storm Fiona, which is moving in across the northeastern Caribbean Sea. Uh, you can see from the satellite picture today, it's from sort of the big view that Fiona has become better organized since yesterday. If you remember from yesterday's briefing, the center was exposed out to the west of all the shower and thunderstorm activity. We've seen some changes that have occurred over the last 24 hours, and Fiona is apparently getting better organized. The center has seemed to have reformed over the last few hours, a little farther north and east back under this uh, deep shower and thunderstorm activity. Right now, Fiona is centered about 130 miles to the southeast of St. Croix. It's moving west now at about eight miles an hour, a little slower than before. Maximum sustained winds are around 60 miles per hour. And you can see the showers and thunderstorms associated with Fiona affecting portions of the Leeward Islands, uh, moving in toward the Virgin Islands now, and will be approaching Puerto Rico uh, later today and tonight. Uh, in terms of what we're seeing on radar imagery, we can see some of the outer rain bands here moving across St. Croix and in closer to the Virgin Islands. This is the radar from Puerto Rico. We've also had the NOAA P-3 aircraft flying out in Fiona this morning, and this is the radar from the aircraft here that shows the uh, center and some of the wind field here to the west of the Leeward Islands. So the system, as I mentioned, is getting better organized. We are now forecasting Fiona to approach or move over portions of Puerto Rico as a hurricane uh, uh, over, uh, during the day on Sunday and into Sunday evening. And for that reason, we now have a hurricane warning that's been issued for Puerto Rico and the islands of Calebra and Vieques off the east coast of that island. We've also issued a hurricane watch for the U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Cro uh, Croix, St. Thomas, and St. John, where there's also a tropical storm warning in effect for the possibility of hurricane conditions on those islands as well, as we expect Fiona to strengthen near hurricane strength and reach hurricane strength as it moves south of and then over portions of Puerto Rico. And that's going to bring those hurricane conditions to portions of Puerto Rico during the day on Sunday. In terms of the most likely time of arrival, the tropical storm force winds are going to be moving into the Virgin Islands here in the next few hours and overnight tonight, and then reaching Puerto Rico during the day on Sunday. Very high chance of sustained tropical storm force winds across all of these areas. And particularly the winds could be even higher in the mountainous terrain of Puerto Rico, where you could see certainly lots of wind gusts up to hurricane force that could certainly cause damage. The rainfall amounts uh, and the rainfall potential for flooding is increasing across Puerto Rico. We could see widespread totals now of 12 to 16 inches with isolated amounts as high as 20 inches across portions of Puerto Rico, especially in the southern and southeastern facing mountains as the moisture associated with Fiona hits those mountains and gets lifted up. We get some very heavy rainfall and we have potential for widespread flash flooding and mudslides, especially across mountainous areas of Puerto Rico. Virgin Islands could see four to six inches with isolated amounts as high as 10 inches. Now we're going to zoom back out here. And, and uh, actually, before we do, we'll talk about the potential for storm surge inundation of one to three feet along the southern and eastern coast of Puerto Rico from Cabo Rojo all the way around to Fajardo. One to three feet of inundation possible along the coastlines of Calebra and Vieques, and one to two feet of inundation possible in the U.S. Virgin Islands, including St. Croix, St. Thomas, and St. John. There'll also be the potential for significant uh, you know, wave heights, uh, significant waves impacting especially the southern and eastern coast of Puerto Rico as Fiona Center moves nearby. Now we'll zoom back out and talk about hazards in other areas. We still have tropical storm conditions ongoing now in portions of the northern Leeward Islands. Those will gradually decrease over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours as Fiona moves away. In, Puerto Rico, in the Dominican Republic, we have a tropical storm warning and a hurricane watch in effect for most of the northern coast and sort of the southeastern half of the island as we are expecting Fiona to move near the northern coast of the Dominican Republic or potentially over portions of eastern Hispaniola as we go from Sunday into Monday morning. And then a f um, more of a northwestward to northward turn that will take Fiona near the Turks and Caicos and southeastern Bahamas uh, as we get into Tuesday. On the, uh, so there's certainly the potential for, for tropi tropical storm conditions expected in eastern Dominican Republic, hurricane conditions possible. Heavy rainfall is going to be a big problem, especially in the eastern portion of the island where we could see isolated totals as high as 12 inches. As we get on here into the Turks and Caicos Islands, 
early next week, we could see rainfall amounts as high as four to six inches. As we get into the middle and later portions of next week right now, our best indications are that the center of Fiona is gonna turn northward and the uh, hurricane is gonna strengthen. We're forecasting Fiona to reach category two status by Wednesday and Thursday as it begins to move northward between the Bahamas and Bermuda. At the very least, that could end up producing dangerous surf conditions across portions of the United States East Coast throughout much of the Bahamas uh, during portions of next week. So stay tuned for more information on that. So for everyone in the path of Fiona, uh, you know, uh, please pay attention to future updates and forecasts. For those of you in the warning areas, this is a time to prepare and get ready for the storm. And pay attention to advice you're given by your local emergency officials. And uh, stay tuned for more updates. So this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center.